most Old Testament scholars say. The practical aspect was for the Jews to stick with all the dietary laws. Best-selling Tim Keller, a prominent Christian scholar and philosopher, lost his fight with pancreatic cancer on Friday and passed away as a result of his illness, according to his church. In May of 2020, Keller, who was the founding pastor of Redeemer Presbyterian Church in New York City, was given an initial diagnosis of pancreatic cancer in the stage four advanced stage. It is with a heavy heart that I write today to inform you that Redeemer Presbyterian Church founder and longtime senior pastor, Tim Keller, passed away this morning at the age of 72, trusting in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection. Bruce Terrell said on behalf of the Redeemer Network leadership team, Tim Keller founded Redeemer Presbyterian Church and served as the senior pastor there for a long time. We will be eternally grateful to him for his leadership, his heart, and his dedication to helping people experience the love that Christ has for them. Although we will miss his presence here, we know that he is rejoicing with his Savior in heaven, he continued. While we will miss his presence here, just before he passed away, his son Michael posted on his Twitter profile saying, Dad is being discharged from the hospital to receive hospice care at home. The post was made on Thursday. Later on Friday around lunchtime, Michael announced on Facebook that Timothy J. Keller had passed away at his home earlier that morning. Michael described Keller as a husband, father, grandfather, mentor, friend, pastor, and scholar. Dad waited till he was by himself with mom before he said anything. He took his last breath as she kissed him on the forehead, just before he passed away. The statement added, We take comfort in some of his last words. There is no downside for me leaving, not in the slightest. The cancer that Keller was diagnosed with in 2020 has been treated with chemotherapy for the past two years. Up until the beginning of January, he was also a patient in the immunotherapy medication research that was being conducted at the National Institute of Health in Bethesda, Maryland. In spite of the fact that the immunotherapy was able to eradicate 99% of the cancerous tumors, Keller revealed in a post he published on Facebook in March that he had experienced a recurrence of new cancerous tumors, which necessitated he undergo a modified form of the immunotherapy treatment he had previously received. They are unfortunately located in some fairly inconvenient places, so the doctors encouraged us to go through the treatment again, this time targeting a different genetic marker of cancer. Keller wrote in her journal, this will target a different genetic marker of cancer. In April, he revealed that he was making a full recovery from the treatments, but that it would be a long and slow process back. In addition, Keller is a cancer survivor. He was first diagnosed with thyroid cancer in the year 2002. Thanks for watching.